Welcome to A-Level Chemistry. My name is Malcolm Robertson and I am the A-Level Chemistry Lecturer at Windsor College. Ordinarily, we would have welcomed you in person to the course. Sadly, this year we can't do that. So we have put together a short clip to try and address the points that we would usually have chatted to you about in person. This clip will tell you a little bit about the course overall and introduce the topics and summer assignment to you. If you have any questions, then my contact details can be found on the summer assignment. Please don't hesitate to get in touch. So I thought I would start with a few commonly asked questions. As you can see, the exam board we follow is OCRA. There are two OCR A level specifications, A and B, but here at Windsor College we follow the A specification. A level grades are determined by your score are in the exams at the end of the course. There's also a practical endorsement, which is a pass or fail, and this is assessed by a series of practical activities throughout the two year course. Please be assured that the time you join us we will have in place all recommended social distancing recommendations for the practical activities. I have also given you details about the amount of homework you might expect and where A-level chemistry might take you in the future. As you prepare for A-level chemistry, you may be wondering what are the topics covered and what equipment books do we need? The topics covered in A-level chemistry are very similar to those in GCSE, but obviously in greater depth. In year one, we do the development of practical skills in chemistry, foundations of chemistry, periodic table and energy. In year two, there are three more topics, core organic chemistry, physical chemistry and transition elements, and organic chemistry and analysis. The other thing to be aware of is the fact that A-level chemistry consists of at least 20% of the marks in assessment come from mathematical skills in a chemistry context, which are at least at the standard of higher tier GCSE mathematics, which is why mathematical skills are so important for A-level chemistry. As far as textbooks are concerned, the textbook that is used at Windsor College is the A-Level Chemistry for OCR, published by Oxford University Press. There are three versions of this book. There's the Year 1 version, which covers everything that you need for Year 1. There's the Year 2, which covers everything for the Year 2 topics. Or there is a combined version that has both Year 1 and Year 2 into it. The combined version is slightly cheaper than buying the two single versions. Also, I would recommend that you have a revision guide. The CGP one is particularly good. And there is also the AS level, A level chemistry mathematics calculations. This is good practice for the mathematical calculations required in A level chemistry. You are required to have a file covering the topic material covered in class. This should include your class notes and homework coursework in the file as well. You will be expected to bring your notes for the current topic along to every class. Some students like to have an A4 working file they carry with them, which you need to bring to class, and an even larger Archer file at home, which you transfer the notes for the whole year into. It's going to be really important to keep your notes tidy and well organised because it will be some time before we have to go back to them to revise for the final exam, especially for the year one material. And these notes will get checked on a regular basis to make sure that you are completing these notes. You will also be required to buy a lab coat for practical activities. It is important that each student has their own lab coat as part of their personal protective equipment. You will also be required to turn up with a scientific calculator and your chemistry textbook for every class and at the first class along with your summer assignment work. The summer assignment work is work that is designed to help you bridge between the gap between GCSE and A-level chemistry. This will be available to download on the college's website soon. 
The sum of assignment tasks consists of four short tasks to help bridge the gap between GSE and A-levels I've just said. And please make sure that you do complete these tasks and bring them with you to your first lesson. Finally, if you have any other questions, please feel free to get in contact with me. I say my contact details will be on the summer assignment. Otherwise, have a wonderful summer, stay safe, and everybody at Windsor College is looking forward to meeting you in the new term in September.